Kolo, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Shalom to the house of David, Bayav Dawada, the Church of the Saints, the 144,000, and the one third men, women, and children that are part of the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, who tell you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. On the Esau's captivity, America, on his, on his uh, uh, power and regime, we are still in captivity in this day. The brokenhearted, the poor, the lowly, the meek, that the Lord is coming for. Basically, this video was just to bring out how Yahweh Shai fed the multitude. You know, he fed them homeless. He fed the needy. He had compassion towards his people. And that's how we have to be in this truth, man. You know, we can't forget and get our own emotions. We got to be the way Yahweh Shai, our master, was, man, when he walked the earth 2,000 years ago, man. You know, every time we say his name, we got to remember his works and how he was. And he loved his people, man. Even with the wickedness of of, of, of the two-thirds, they're going to still make it in the kingdom because all Israel shall be saved. But Yahweh Shai was compassionate towards the people. His gospels was about what? Repent ye, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what the gospels was all about. Healing the sick. Feeding the poor. You know? But you got people that say, uh, oh, you feeding the poor, that's going off. But... That's feeding, the, that's feeding the ungodly. But who's to say that that's not, they're not a, a, a demonically possessed or sick or jacked up now to be healed later to show the Lord's power. The reason why I bring that up because yesterday at camp, street teaching was one of what it was the most powerful camp I ever been in, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai because we brought out, we brought out these scriptures Right? We brought out these scriptures and I'm um, starting with Matthew 14, how the Lord fed 5,000 and um, he fed the multitude. And when we brought that out, you know, we was bringing our Lord healed all manner of sicknesses, Matthew's fourth chapter and his fame went in, in Galilee. He was preaching, which the spiritual food, this is the spiritual food healing us from the sick, the sick state that our people in, the dead state that our people in, Man, the dry bones. This truth is what gives us life, man. And we're coming out that dead state we've been in for hundreds of years in captivity, not knowing who we are, not not knowing our power. But basically, a man with a messed up back came to camp, and his he was right in front of the camp. He was bent over on his back, and I'm looking at him. I'm thinking, I'm like, Yo, what's wrong with him? This guy got demons on him. So then I asked him, Are you all right? And he got back up. He said, I got back problems. Always had back problems. But hearing the word made me feel better, and he walked away. And then later on, we brought out the scriptures in Matthew's. When the Lord was healing his many wonders and acts, when he was healing the uh, the lame man on the Sabbath. And when we brought the scripture out through the spirit, the Lord manifested a man right in front of us with a lame, with a leg, with injury on his leg and a foot. That's what lame means. So while we bring in the scriptures, it was beautiful. The man started jumping up and down on his leg, man. And he was praising the Lord, man. And then he left and he, and he quoted what Peter said when he, when he said, uh, um, when, he, when the Lord told uh, Peter, get behind me. Satan, you know, get, get, he told Satan, get thou behind me. He quoted that scripture and it was bad because uh, that whole camp yesterday was just, man, it was just beautiful, man. It was just beautiful, man, that camp. And then after that, somebody deaf came up. Somebody deaf. No, he was deaf or he was deaf and mute, you know. He kind of understand what we were saying, but he came up to the camp too. So it was heavy because that time is coming. That spiritual power is coming, man. You know? That spiritual power, that healing power is coming. That manifestation of that healing power, which we're healing our people now through the spirit of the Lord. The Lord is having us, the prophets, throw this word out and is healing people from the sick mentality that they've been in. The sickness, man. For you to call yourself black, Latino, Native Americans, for you to follow these hedonistic customs, you're sick in the head, man. You're brainwashed. Now, this truth washes our people's brain. But we're going to bring that out, Matthews 14 and 13. Because this got to come out, man. Because yesterday I can't further prove the Lord wants his vibration out, yo. It was evident, man, you know. The street teaching, Lord, when we upload it, you know, you, you sheep out there ain't going to see, man. The Lord's work, he's, he's working, man. You know, it's beautiful, man. Matthews 14 and 13, how wish I heard of it. He departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard of it, thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Yahweh went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion. Now, the word compassion means a uh, pity for, for the people suffering. So he had compassion towards his people. And we see that, man, every day. You know, we see it every day where we are. We see our people poor and all messed up in the, in the, 
in the ghettos and under these curses, and we have compassion towards our people. You know, yeah, we get mad at the two thirds because they don't want our people don't want to wake up. We don't know who the fuck the two thirds. Guess what? You got a lot of dudes that's in the camps right now. A lot of them they're the two thirds. A lot, a lot of buzz that you think in your camp that are brothers are the two thirds. They turn out to be niggas. I've seen it. You rubbing elbows with some oh they're brothers, and then later on they become niggas. We'll just say somebody out there that's demonically possessed. The Lord don't got them like that. So when that time comes, they're the elect, and the Lord can give the pro the, the the wonders and miracles that spiritual power to his elect to heal that demon possessed person. To show the Lord's power, manifest, manifest, magnify his name on earth and glorify his name on earth, man. All my ways are not, your, my thoughts ain't your thoughts, my ways ain't your ways, man. The Lord said that. This is not our movie, man. And Yahweh went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them. And he healed their sick. And when it was evening, his is hey, that's the spirit, man. That's right. And he healed their sick. Hey, you see that? That's the spirit of the Lord, man. And when it was evening, and his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the, and the time is now past, and send them all to the way, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Yahweh I said unto them, They need not depart. Give ye, give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. He said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass, and he took the five loaves and the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed them. And break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up the fragments that remained twelve baskets full. The vibration of twelve. You got Yahweh Shai in the twelfth. Two, you have the twelve disciples, man. Which together, he's the thirteenth, which is the rulership, man. And they that had eaten were about five thousand men beside women and children. So he fed women, men, women, and children, man. Yahweh Shai was, Yahweh Shai is beautiful, man. That's why Yahweh Shai is the King of Kings, man. The Lord of Lords. This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. Send them away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves bread. They have nothing to eat. Give ye them to eat. Shall we go and buy 200 penny worth of bread and give them to eat? How many loaves have you? Five. Two fishes. the people into companies of 50 that they might be fed. Then Yahweh Shai fed also the multitude again, 4,000. And it said compassion, meaning pity and suffering. And we, and we feel for our people that's out there all lost in the sauce, man. It's a fucking Esau, man. Got our people destroyed, being under this devil. That's why we, we need the kingdom of heaven, man. Passion, being merciful towards the people, man. This thing is bigger about the men and just in your in your so-called camp. You know, this is about the church, man. The Lord, the multitude is coming in. So that's why the spirit has this coming out to push that vibration out, man. That multitude is about to come in, man. 
And there's going to be people that you think they're ungodly that's going to be the elect. The Lord's going to heal them for all manners of sicknesses, man, like the Lord did. But you're doing that now through the Spirit. That spiritual food, that spiritual word that's coming out. But that physical spiritual power is coming that's going to magnify the Lord. His name. Who knows? A lot of you that have the problem with this vibration being pushed out have no compassion towards the people and don't give a shit about healing the sick and the poor and the downtrodden okay, and casting out demons and, and healing all manners of sicknesses like our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Master. Guess what, man? You might not you might not be fed in that day. <laughs> you might starve to death and your stomach might fucking explode. You know? Maybe then you'll get the understanding. Yahweh Shai is the great, man. The greatest. The greatest man that ever walked the earth, man. A man that truly loved his people, that was for his people, man. Unto death and gave his life for us. Let us not forget this, man. We're our righteousness as filthy rags. We're only doing what we're supposed to be doing. But we're at the end of this thing, man. That power is coming. We're bringing another, another act that the Lord did again. He was fed the 4,000. And it says the word there, compassion. He fed the poor. Kolo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom to the house of David. Vayav Tawada. The 144,000. The church of the saints. And the one third men, women, and children. That are receiving the spiritual food. The sheep that's out there. And the future sheep that's coming in. The multitude. And the ones out there that have all manners of different sicknesses and illnesses. That Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to heal in that day. And feed in the time of famine. My servants shall eat, they shall thirst. The Lord's multitudes are about to come in. The Lord's hands are going to be showed forth on earth. And his name will be glorified. Shalom.